Now that we know a little bit about both the US and the metric systems, let's see if we can convert between the two of them. We're going to have to go back to our dimensional analysis and conversion factors to work these problems. Uh, but I think you'll find it pretty straightforward as long as you remember to keep your labels in place. All right, so here are some uh, different conversion relationships for length and mass and capacity. And I'm going to keep coming back to this as a reference to work my problems out. This was in our textbook. All right, so the first problem is, what is one kilometer in miles? The conversion relationship we have here is that one mile is equal to 1.61 kilometers. So what I'm going to do the way we've done these before is we say you start with what you're given and I usually put it over one to make it a fraction. So one kilometer over one and then I want to multiply that by a fraction that will cancel the, the label I don't want and hopefully give me the label I do want in this case miles. My relationship up here is one mile is 1.61 kilometers so I put the one mile on top the 1.61 kilometers on bottom that label of kilometers cancels meaning my answer is going to be in miles as I want and then I just get my calculator to do one divided by 1.61 and I got 0.62 miles let's try another one the height of Mount Kilimanjaro is 5,895 meters. How do we convert that height to feet? Well, I start with what I'm given, the 5,895 meters over one, and then I go back and say, now what was that relationship? Oh, here it is. One meter is 3.28 feet. So I put the 3.28 feet on top, the meters on bottom. How do I know to do it that way? because I want the meters to cancel, so I need one on top and one on bottom. Then I multiply straight across the top and the bottom and get my final answer of 19,335.6 feet. What about ounces in a two liter bottle of soda? Again, you start with what you're given, two liters over one times, well, let's see, if I go back a slide, Where's liters? Oh, here we are. Capacity. Liters to quarts. No, that doesn't help. Quarts to liters. That doesn't really help. Here's the only thing that involves ounces, but it's in milliliters. So I know that one ounce is 30 milliliters. So if I come back to my problem, I realize I have to change that liters into milliliters before I can do anything. So I know that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. So I use that conversion factor. If you don't remember that, I'm going to review that in just a second. Then I can cancel out the milliliters by using the conversion fraction one ounce to 30 milliliters. So liters cancels liters, milliliters cancels milliliters. My final answer will be in ounces, in this case, 66.7 ounces. All right, so how do I know that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter? Remember our saying, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. So liters is my units. I'm converting to milliliters. That means I'd have to go one, two, three hops over. So one liter would have to have three decimal places added, three zeros added to get to milliliters. So that's where this middle conversion factor came from. All right, one more. Here we have two athletes comparing their personal best time. One is using the English system, 400 yards in 50 seconds. The other is using a metric system, 400 meters in 53 seconds. Who has the better time? This one's a little bit tricky. The first part isn't too bad. We just need to convert to the same type of units. So meters per second makes sense. We can change the 400 yards for 50 seconds into meters per second by just using the conversion factor. Where did I get that? Way back here where we had our chart. So here was one yard is 0.914 meters. So I'm using that in my, my problem here. Now, 
and I put the yard on the bottom so that it canceled and my answer was going to be meters per, because it's in the bottom, per second. So working that out, I got 7.312 seconds, uh, meters per second, sorry. Then the 400 meters for 53 seconds, well, we can do the division problem with our calculator and turn that into 7.547 meters per one second. So comparing these at first, you might think, well, wait a minute, the, the first guy is actually better because it's smaller, right? It's a lower time. But what we have to think about is that it's how much ground are they covering? So the second runner is actually covering more ground each second than the first runner. So the 400 meters per 53 seconds is a better time than 400 yards for 50 seconds. Let me know if you have any questions.